Hi, today I want to show you how I, I use the reading list in Safari on both my iOS devices, iPhone, iPad and my Mac. Uh, I will show you how I use it on the iPad but it syncs to my iPhone and Mac too, instantly. So if we start Safari We have a, an article here that I want to read later. Uh, or instantly. So if we want to read it instantly, right now at the moment, I could click on the reader button. Lasar in Swedish. And then the article gets converted. Really beautiful. As you can see here can read the text, really beautiful, and images in line. No ads, no boring stuff in the sidebars and shit. Here is the text and the images. Really beautiful. So, instead of this we could read it in a beautiful format. If we want to add this to our reading list, we could, uh, to read later, we could click on this button and choose Leg till i läslista, add to reading list in English. And the article get added to a reading list. Uh, and in the text, we will find some links. That we want to read later we have not the time at the moment so we could click on this link here free mine for example and this dialog opens if you choose leg till i last lista add to reading list in english that link gets added to our reading list too these articles are now on both my iPad, iOS and iPhone, iOS and Mac instantly. So I can use any device to read these. And the reading list we found here, this button. Here, as you can see, FreeMind is the link at the top. That's the last we added. And in the reading list we can choose to see all unread articles on this button or every article we have read in the same list. So it saves everything we have added to the reading list historically. So um, very easy to filter that. But let's say we want to read this article again that we have already viewed and uh, then I click on the link in the reading list and it opens here and I click on the reader button and it is nicely formatted again. But now I will show you a trick. If you want to add this to Evernote it's very easy now when it's formatted beautifully. You just click on this button and choose email article e-post article. And a window, mail window opens with the article in the body and link to the source and the title. So it's you can choose your Evernote uh, email or uh, email address here. And when you add the email address here to Evernote, your secret Evernote email address, and click on send, quick up in Swedish, and then the, uh, this article gets added to Evernote in seconds. Very, very simple and easy. So, but 
was a trick that I use very much. I really love reading lists and I use it instead of Insta paper because it's more instant and it syncs with all my three devices uh, instantly. Very easy. So, all this article I can open on my Mac and my iPhone and uh, iPad. No delays, always ready. Okay, thanks.